Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My beloved students Dear learners, how are you everyone? Hope all of you are very well By the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala This is very important class For every single of one of us So uh, I hope all of you are You will get ready for listening this class And uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, two lessons lesson 14 and lesson 15 here uh, we, we inshallah learn about hadith number 3 and about hadith number 4 so <coughs> my beloved students in the hadith number 3 here our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says مَا مِنْ يَوْمٍ يُسْبِحُ الْعِبَادِ فِيهِ إِلَّا مَلَكَانْ يَنْزِلَانْ فَيَقُولُ أَحَدُهُمَا اللَّهُمَّ أَعْطِي مَنْ فَقَنْ خُلُقًا وَيَقُولُ الْآخَرْ اللَّهُمَّ أَعْطِي بَمْسِكًا تَقَلًا تَلَفًا For my beloved students here Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encourage us to uh, help the needy people in our country, in our society, to the poor people for help them. So, my beloved students, here we want to discuss uh, two points from Hadith number three. First point is translation of this Hadith, and secondly, we are going to discuss teaching of this Hadith. Teaching method, what is uh, just one to teach us this hadith so my beloved student while we are going to discuss the translation when we are going to translate this hadith here our beloved prophet Muhammad wasallam, says every morning two angels descend to a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I repeat this every morning two angels descend to servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all of them says oh Allah give reward to the giver and another says oh Allah cause demands to the seas of wealth this hadith is collected from Bukhari and Muslim and here Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encourage us and advise us to stand for help or needy people our poor people in our society because there are many people more than uh, 40 not actually 40 more than 30 percent people live under the poverty line so this is very important duty for us to stand beside them for help them so my beloved student this is very important thing that islam always encourage us islam always teach us to help the lady people, to help the poor people in our society and Islam is a con, uh, is always try to uh, maintain the society and is a happy society so my beloved students in second point when we are going to hear teachings of this hadith what kind of teach we can achieve from this hadith this is very important point because if we read this hadith without following the teach of this hadith, it's actually not helpful for us. When we read the hadith or Quran and with following this, the instruction of the Quran or hadith, it will be very benefited for us. And by this way, inshallah, we can encourage, we can decorate our life for build a great society for my beloved students in this hadith prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam just encourage us and this is very important duty for every single one of us that we have to help in every single of people person in our society beside our home beside the street so my beloved students then <coughs> because we know the generosity 
is a very bright attitude, a bright important point for every single one of us. And the angels seek blessing for generous person. So my beloved students, from our sight, from our situation, we always try to make a good work for help the needy people level best. My beloved students, now we are going to uh, discuss about from uh, Hadith 4. Here, the translation, first point is translation of this Hadith. And in this Hadith, here our, this Hadith is also collected from Bukhari and Muslim. This is the most important uh, kitab after Quran. So, here our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, ما من مسلم يغرس غرسا أو يزرع زرعا فيأكل منه طيرا أو إنسان أو بهيمة إلا ما كان له به صدقا. This is very important for nowadays. Not actually nowadays because in every single one of hadith and every single ayat of Quran or hadith, this is very important for every time. So, first of all, in this hadith, we are translate, we are going to translate this hadith. Here, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Ma min muslimin, if a muslim plants a single tree or grow any crop, and if some birds, man, and animal eats a portion from that, it will be very benefited for us. It will be sapa charity. So, this is very important thing that beside our home, beside our institution, in when we get some uh, places, we have to and we should to grow here. We should to uh, <coughs> grow here just a tree because it. Always a tree, uh, always maintain our environment. So, my beloved student, it will be sattva when a person or animals get benefit from this tree. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us to our, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a uh, sattva. So, my beloved students, here, after that, when we are going to discuss the teaching point of this hadith, this is a very important point because nowadays we, are, uh, we look uh, in the whole world, world always our uh, government encourage us to, uh, to not cut the tree. So, this is the teaching of Islam that Islam always teaches that in every single moment always try to a good better for another person. Not a truly person, but also for animal, for birds, for cow, for every single one of uh, creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my beloved student, we are not going to long make long to this class. Uh, I think inshallah you can understand my classes and when you will watch my class you will uh, open your book and uh, i think inshallah you can understand and so uh, keep it watching inshallah see you again next class assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh